So, step number two. Now you need to name your ad group. If you want a metaphor, or at least a way to kind of make it easy on your head, the campaign is an objective, okay? So it could be you have an offer, the campaign is bring customers to that offer, okay? And the ad group is going to be kind of different approaches. So you have your ultimate goal, get more customers, and then ad groups, you can only have one or you can have a, you know, as many as you want. Uh, or kind of, the, yeah, the angles. So what type of videos are, are you uh, sending? What kind of targeting are you using, right? So you can test multiple approaches to get your, your final campaigns go, which, you know, you should know by now because you're supposed to set that one up, okay? So the name, again, is for your own reference, um, ad group. Yeah, group run some seems good. Now the video ad. Let's paste this one in. Tum, tum, tum. A lot of Donald Trump videos here. Of course. This guy is popping up everywhere. Okay, so let's take this one. Paste the code in here. And so you get the option in stream or in display. Look, we're going to go with in display. Uh, you can you can choose both, uh, but you're going to have to set them up differently. So in display, the, for the thumbnail, uh, it's really weird because they're not uh, letting you choose my own thumbnail. That's because I didn't upload one. I'm quite stupid. Okay, if you upload a thumbnail here, uh, once you're uploading your video, right, so the video ad is going to appear here as an option. Forgot to do that, I'm going to go back and do it, but I'll do it off camera because it's a bit boring for you to uh, to see, okay? So headline, this is your creator, okay? So it's not really, it's not it's not a title of your video, okay? So when people click on your video, then you'll see the title of your video, but that's a headline. So we're targeting people who want to learn more about this building and affiliate marketing. So affiliate marketing, what? Okay, let's go with. Let's go with like something like this, because you need to capture attention, okay? Affiliate marketing is easy, right? And people will be like, what? Okay, and they'll click on the video. So description, this is, those are the two lines that you're going to be uh, filling in. So that's your, sh the, the title is your shot as get, at getting attention uh, with your thumbnail, of course, and then the two lines, the two descriptions are your shot at getting a click. So description, how it shows you over the shoulder, how he runs his businesses. businesses. Click. Because you need to give a you know call to action. It could be click now, could be click here, could be watch now, uh, but click works also. Click, click, do click, and people are probably going to click at some point. So landing page, my channel page on YouTube, the videos watch page on YouTube. So if people click, do they end up on your channel? Do they end up on the video? I don't know why that's by default. I think it's pretty stupid, but the videos watch page is what you want to do since your funnel and clicks from your video to your landing page. Okay, do remember that. Do remember that. So ad name uh, is going to be video ad one. That's going to do it. Uh, maximum cost per view. Now, you do see, actually, you may not see. Let me show you. Whoops. It says typical is four cents. This is in euros, by the way, but four cents to 63 cents. Uh, that's not typical. That's Google baiting you to put in a big number here. But actually, if you enter point oh one with the targeting or lack thereof that we have, we should be getting just uh, you know an average cost per view of one cent. Now, to be honest, we're targeting the entire world, so we're not really being uh, <laughs> picky here. If I chose United States, if I chose only the tier one countries, then my views would probably, excuse me, my, my cost per view would probably over around three to four cents. Uh, probably less, actually, two cents, two cents, excuse me. That's what I remember, at least. Popular uh, video based adjustment, 
honestly disregard this, okay? Just disregard this, it's not important. So, targeting. This is where we get into the meat and potatoes. If you edit this, you get a whole bunch of options. Now, you do need to... If you have a perfect customer in mind, so you know what your average customer is, what your average customer wants, uh, you know, if they're parents, not parents, I mean, then you can make an educated decision, you know, to untick uh, or, yeah, tick or untick these boxes. My opinion is if someone is interested enough to Google about my topic, excuse me, uh, type in the YouTube search bar about my topic, uh, researching a video, finding a video, then they're probably good enough to purchase my products, what I mean. They're probably uh, interested enough that they might consider purchasing the product. That being said, I'm targeting by keywords. If you're not targeting by keywords, first off, you're doing a huge mistake, but um, you can try to, to target by this. Honestly, it never mattered to me, and I never, you know, I never even tried to talk. Maybe I should, but what I usually do is I just let it run like this, and then I go into the, the results, and I see if parents or not parents or, you know, uh, men or women convert better. And if men or women convert better, then I'm going to probably, you know, remove men or women, the one that doesn't convert. On the other hand, with keyword research like this, you get, I mean, I get a vast majority of males. So I get 80% views from males and 20% from women. And so my, you know, my conversions show that men convert way better, but, you know, I'm not getting a, a perfect uh, split 50-50 men or women. So... You know, I, I need to do my math here. That's why I have a, a handy calculator here. Actually, it's an iPhone, but it, you know, does the trick. Okay, so interests. This is where you can get a bit, uh, you know, a bit more into detail. But again, that's assuming you know your market. So you would think that since I'm running a an ad for internet marketing, I would go into business opportunities, etc. But I told you I'm only going to target by keywords. That's all I do. But if you, you know, again, if you think you can find something that helps you here, go ahead. By the way, you think there's not many categories. There are thousands of categories. Gamers, for example. Let's go in it. Gamers. Well, we added the entire game, but we want to uh, open that up. Action game fans. Adventure and strategy games fans. Hardcore gamer. I don't know how they determine this, but a hardcore gamer may be people that watch a lot of video games, uh, gameplay, I don't know, but you can add them, you can add them, to, and that's going to probably change your cost per view, um, yeah, so apparently, this, by the way, this, this bugs out a lot, so, you know, don't, you know, only use this as a slight indication, but it, it really bugs a lot, so apparently, if you choose hardcore gamer, you're going to have to increase your bid in order to get, um, you know, to get a spend, to get views. And apparently that's not good enough, which is quite stupid. And if we put five cents in, then we do end up spending, look at this, we do end up spending the entire budget at an average it's two cents per views. But if we enter two cents per views here, oh, God forbid we spend any money. It's, this, by the way, is, is awfully bad. Don't, you know, just... You know. You sh if it's in green, good. If it's in red, doesn't really matter, in my opinion. I always go with a max cost per view of one cent because I know that behind the scenes, YouTube is struggling to sell their ad inventory and that they will give me just as many views as if I entered a higher number. Okay. So, uh, yeah, go ahead and, and select if you want here. I, I'm not going to mess with that. Actually, I'm not going to mess with anything. This is an example ad. Narrow your targeting. Keyword placements for marketing uh, topics. Placements, rem uh, we're not going to talk about remarketing, but placements, we're going to explore that in the in stream section. It's called keywords. And this is where you paste your huge list of, of keywords that you get from, uh, where was it again? Keyword, the Google Keyword Planner. So you paste it in here after having uh, removed the keywords that you're not. Uh, that you're not sure about and if this well i just told you it's untrustworthy but if it if it goes too much into the red add more keywords okay just find more keywords and just stuff them in and it's going to because you know it's going to um 
to go back to normal here. So the thing is, not many people actually search on uh, YouTube. Probably not the keywords that you're looking for. A lot of stupid keywords, yes, but not probably not very targeted and, and you know laser tight um, keywords that you you'd like to target. So just put in a lot of keyword here. Don't be too discriminatory, and then just click on Save Ad Group. And once that's done, your campaign is going to enter the approval process. And this could take anywhere from pum 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 could take anywhere from an hour to 24 hours. Uh, you know, max for me has been uh, two hours, I think. But I, I got pretty lucky with my approval. 